everybody it's Kelsey Brianna J and in today's video I'm going to be talking about a brand that I have been highly 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 interested in and I'm so excited to be bringing you guys a video on and as you all can tell by the title that brand is Carolina Adana. I am so excited to finally have all of the components here to do this video for you all because I've been slowly collecting Carolina Herrera stuff and I just am infatuated with it. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the details about it and I'll tell you all a little bit of background about how I came to know about Carolina Herrera. So I had been seeing certain things about this brand online and it was just something that I saw in passing and I thought it was cute or whatever. But one day, I was in my girl Vicky J's live, okay? And she had put together one of the cutest lipstick configurations. And from that moment on, I was like, oh, oh. It went from me wanting something from them eventually to me placing an order right then, right there. Just to give you guys a little idea about what we're working with, here we go. So this brand is exclusive to our friends over the pond at Harrods. So this is the only place that we will be able to purchase it in America. We will have to order it from them. And whenever I order from Harrods, I'm always very strategic with my purchases because whatever you order from Harrods is going to come attached with a $30 shipping fee. So I always try to place my order and get every single thing that I need at the time. Harrods does have an occasional 10% off for the weekend and they will offer that. And so if you all want to get free shipping in your head, you can spend $300 and technically with the discount, the shipping will be free. Not technically. So Carolina's brand is just super cute. Everything is very customizable and everything comes in its own little component. What I mean by that is take for instance the lipstick, which this lipstick case was gifted to me by one of my dearest kale bells, Jessica. Thank you so much, Jessica. She said she had ordered one too many and she asked me did I want it. I'm like, of course. So she mailed it to me. This lipstick case comes separate. So you will purchase the lipstick case the lipstick and the tassel. And then they have additional accessories. So the additional accessories are the bangle, okay? So you can order a bangle to hold the charms and the charms are sold separately. And so I actually have a K charm thanks to one of my other dearest Kale Bells who is also super sweet, Dawn. She gifted me a K, which these are by Carolina Herrera, but they are not sold online. In order to get these, you have to order from the counter and then they are a gift with purchase. So she was able to secure a K for me and I so appreciate that so she gifted me this and then I purchased a beetle and I purchased this ring and so that is how you house your charms and you can hold that on your lipstick as well and so I just think that this is just maximum cuteness okay you don't have to get a charm ring and charms for every single lipstick you can absolutely just change it out whenever you are using a lipstick but you know it depends on how extra you are if you want each lipstick to have their own bangle it's the same thing for the compact so this one caught me a little bit off guard because i had ordered a compact cover thinking that that was the compact for the actual powder but no it's literally just the design that you see on the front of the compact and the compact is sold separately and one of my dearest Kale Bells Dawn okay she reached out told me that she was placing an order over the phone and I'm like hey if you get in touch with them and they have any of the compacts in the store could you please give me some and I will send you some money for it and she was like no girl, I'm gonna just send it to you. It's going to be my gift to you. And so I was like, Dawn, that is just so sweet. I'm like, no, let me give you some money. And she's like, no, it's a gift. And so she sent me two compacts, okay? Two compacts and the K initial. And I just thought that was super, super sweet. So I really appreciate her and Jessica. I feel like I have all the gifts in this Carolina Herrera video. So they are just so sweet. I just couldn't ask for better cowbells. I just could not. So I really appreciate them. And then I have this little beetle ring charm back here and you can just hold it in your fingers like this and that's sold separately and then the actual powder which is refillable on the inside is sold separately as well so everything is separate it's an a la carte brand so you can buy things as you see fit but like i said these are only available on harrods for us 
So every time you need something, it's going to be $30. So definitely make your orders count. I'm excited to have all of these things. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to be trying on six different lipsticks. And each lipstick has a different case and a different tassel. And I'll talk to you guys about the designs of them and which ones are my favorites. And I'm going to try on the powders. So... Thank you so much to Jessica and Dawn for sending over these amazing gifts. I so appreciate you all and I hope that you all enjoy this video and let me know if you plan on picking up anything from Carolina. Enjoy. So before I try on the lips, I want to use the powders on my face. So I have two of them. I really like these pouches. I'm going to take them out. Okay, so... I think I'm going to use both of these powders, but I'm just going to use them on two different areas of my face. So I'm going to take N30 and put that in the center of my face, and I'm going to take N32 and put that on the perimeter. So I'm going to start off with the lighter one first. So lighter powder, it picks up super, super easily. It's very lightweight. It has a very fragrant scent that I like, by the way. It's very smoothing. It's knocking off that shine. It was given a nice velvety finish. Ooh, filter. I think this color is a really nice color for the center of my face. I think that this will be a great touch up powder throughout the day because it didn't add too much more coverage, but it just smooths me out and it just makes me look like a more mattified version of myself. Like this is what I like my makeup to look like at the beginning of the day. So it looks very fresh. So now I'm going to take in 32 just kind of set all the way around I think that this color is just a hair darker it's not necessary for me to have this one but because I looked at the other one first and I thought it was just gonna be way 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 too light I went ahead and jumped the gun and ordered this one but this color is a little bit more warm the other color is a little bit more cool toned so I could use this one all over because the formulation of this powder is so sheer but for me, I feel like N30 is going to do it. And N32 would be more so if I had a little bit of a tan, which I don't. This is clearly a finishing powder or a touch-up powder. It's not going to give too much coverage. It's not disturbing the piece, okay? It's just giving me a nice velvet finish. And you can definitely go on top of your makeup with this powder just to finish everything because it's not going to add another layer, like I said. I'm going to try on this first lipstick. And the thing with the lipsticks is that at the bottom, it doesn't say the name. It just says the number. And so I just so happen to have the boxes here now. But when I don't have the boxes in the future, how's this going to work? So the first color that I'm going to try on is 712 Polka Red. And I love this little ensemble that I have it in. Yes. Mm. Love it. Nice, classic, yellow-based red. I love this color. I feel like it's really nice and pigmented. And I think Carolina Herrera does a really beautiful red. And I think this red is pretty close to the red that's on the inside. So reds are what Carolina does. So I'm loving this one. I think that it's really pretty. And it feels nice. Next, I'm going to try on 410 Alegria or Alegria. I don't know which one it is. I tried to look it up and I heard both ways. So I really love this little outfit too. I think that it's just so cute. It's like little dolls I can play dress up. Alegria. To me, this color is really interesting because it looks like it's almost an orange red, but it has a little bit of pink in it. Like, that's what I think. Like, it was almost there, but then they were like, you know what, let's make it pink. And then they kind of settled here. So, I like this color. Again, the formulation is really easy, smooth. I think it's very pretty. I think it looks cute with my eye look that I have on today. It would be a different type pop if I wanted to go there. Next, I'm going to try on Cheering Pink, which is housed in my favorite ensemble. I love this swirl design. I love the pops of color. I love the blue. I love that I have a K here. Thanks again to Dawn because y'all know I love the customization of it all, but I just think it's super special because I have a K initial. <laughs> so Cheering Pink. Cheers. 
Ooh. I like this color. It's a really nice fuchsia mm, berry tone that leans more pink. It's like a raspberry color. I love it. So now I'm going to try on Almost Coral. And this was the one that started it all. So I've changed up the packaging just a little bit for this one. I used to have the green one, the green tassel on here, but I switched it. So this was on here at first. This color goes hard. It is so vibrant. It's so pretty. It pops. It'll work for a variety of seasons. If you want to have a color that's just really poppy, something that's unexpected, something that is definitely a conversation starter, this is the one for you. I think this color is just so fun. It's so different. It's so in your face, but it's wearable. And I love, love, love it. So if you want something to just bring some life onto your face, go with this color. I love this little zebra with the orange pop for orange bliss. So I'm going to go ahead and try that one on. And this one is like an orangey red color. Super pretty, but this, as you all know, is not a color that I reach for all the time. I prefer straight orange to orange red but i do like an orange red like once or twice a year i think it's a pretty color and lastly let's try on birthday red because who doesn't love birthdays this color is a little bit drier than the others It's very slight, but I feel it. It doesn't have that same slip like even Orange Bliss did. I had to kind of work it in a little bit more to build up that color. But I still love the color. It's still very smooth. But it doesn't have that same slip like the other colors. So I thoroughly have enjoyed playing with all of these products and building these products and just collecting and configuring them because I think that it's really fun. It's very expressive. I love that I can mix and match things and it's like I'm playing with a Barbie doll. I think the concept of her brand is super cute and I would love to see her expand. But I do have some thoughts about everything. Let's talk first about the powders. And I'm going to say that I love, love, love these powders. I think that they are very nicely weighted. You can tell that these are from a luxury brand just by holding it because it feels like high quality. The only thing is, is just to be careful not to make the same mistake that I did and not purchasing the actual compact. Plus, I love the powder. I can definitely see myself keeping this in my purse and using it on the go for touch-ups because like I said, it's a powder formula that's very lightweight and it's not going to disturb your makeup and that's what I like about it like I said I have two different colors in 30 and in 32 because this formulation is so sheer I could wear either one comfortably and it really wouldn't make that much of a difference but if I were going to pick one or the other I would pick in 30 because it's more golden and in 32 is more warm but honestly because it's so sheer it doesn't really matter. Next, let's talk about these lipsticks because that's what initially got me drawn to the brand in the first place. So I just love that they have different designs. Like that's the main thing. But then when I tried the actual lipstick formulation, it's very good. It is right on par with all of the new matte formulations on the market. It's not dry. They're very buildable. They're creamy, but they set down. As I stated during the demonstration, only one of the mattes was a little bit drier than the other. Others, but it was just a very subtle difference but I wanted to note take that for you all so you all are aware if you do choose to purchase the color that I have on my lips now but definitely you can work with it and you can get it to build up and it's not something that stands out to make me say don't buy the color it's just something that I wanted to bring to your attention plus I wish on the actual lipstick it had the name of the lipstick and not just the number because like I said I kept my boxes so I was able to look on my box and correlate the number with the name on the actual lipstick it'll just say 480 and not birthday red so for me I'll just have to memorize that or just forever keep my boxes which I'm gonna keep my boxes but it's just something that they could have easily put on the bottom of here and I could have just tossed the boxes because I'm never going to take my lipstick out of the packaging and put it back in the box 
And another thing that I wanted to notate is the tassel. It's magnetized, so it sticks on the bottom. I just wish the magnet on the bottom were just a little bit stronger. It does come off from time to time, and I always see it. But if it were a little bit stronger, I would have to put a little bit more <clears throat> elbow grease to get it to come off, which is what I wish. But it's fine. It's workable. It's cute. It's pretty. But those are just small flaws, I think, in the overall design of this that I just want to let you guys know because we're doing a review but overall I still enjoy these I enjoy the experience of them I love mixing and matching I love the different outfits I love the customization I don't have anything quite like this it definitely stands out in a crowd I think that it's just super different and fun because you can really show and express your personality because there are so many different designs here and it's something here for everybody so I love it and the formulation of the matte lipsticks is bomb thank you all so much for watching this video let me know which colors were your favorite that i tried on down in the comments section and i look forward to reading what you guys have to say and i'll check you all in my very next video which will be super super soon smooches bye